So there are a couple new really exciting developments that we've gotten in the past week or so, including an announcement and an exciting teaser campaign for 2020. But before I jump into that stuff, I just want to say real quick that I'm very excited to be visiting Kennywood for the first time in eight years on Sunday, July 28th, which is tomorrow at the time I'm releasing this video. So I'm really excited to go out there check out Steel Curtain and get to re-ride Phantom's Revenge of course. It's been way too long. I need to get some re-rides on that and as well as riding Thunderbolt and the other classic wooden coasters there. I absolutely love Thunderbolt and Jackrabbit. Great rides, great rides and I've always loved Kennywood so I cannot wait to get back out there. Anyway, jumping into the hot topics. First, I'm going to touch base a little bit on Kings Island's Giga for 2020. They have finally, finally started a teaser campaign. And at this point, it's suspected that there is less than a month till they make an official announcement for Project X. So this teaser campaign came really late, but it did finally come around and a lot of people were wondering about it. And I really don't know what to make of this. This is really interesting. I haven't delved into it too much for myself. I've watched a couple videos and I've heard people throw around a few possible theories, but I haven't heard anything that I think could be really concrete. That's what's fun about these teaser campaigns though. It's just fun to try to pick up on little clues here and there. And of course they're always going to try to throw us off. But right now we have several posters that Kings Island has put out up to this point. And by the time I release this video, there's probably going to be at least another poster out there as well. But they're putting these posters for both current and past rides that were in the park. And when they initially started doing this a few days back, it started with just some coasters, but now they're throwing some other stuff in there too. So as of July 27th, we have posters for Firehawk, the Vacoma Flying Dutchman that was removed last year, and Vertigo, the Vacoma Inverted Boomerang at the park, Flight of Fear, the Premier Rides Launch Coaster, Vortex, the Aerodynamics Custom Looper, Rotor, which was a classic rotor ride where the floor drops out and centrifugal force pins you to the wall. There's Zodiac, and I'm not sure exactly how to describe this ride it says on the poster that it's an intamin ride i'm not sure exactly what these rides are called i've seen pictures of them i don't know what you call this model though and then there is the Bayern curve which is a classic spinning ride so this campaign is really interesting because we have more than just coasters now we have several rides from the park's history and Kings Island has always loved focusing on their history, which I think is great. So they have some classic coasters in there, some defunct ones, a couple other classic rides. And then on the posters, a lot of them have watermarked letters on the back. And I'm not really sure. I don't really have any good theories as to what this might spell out. But a lot of people are racking their brains trying to figure out what it's going to spell. Or if it even means anything. Which I'm sure it means something. We just don't really know yet what it is. And once again, that's the fun of these teaser campaigns. So that's all I really have to say about that. I don't really have anything else interesting to add to it. I don't have any great theories myself. Just know that it's out there and we're going to be getting some more information on this project really soon. We should have an official announcement coming. The rumored announcement date for Project X is August 15th, the day before National Coaster Day. So it'll be exciting to see what happens. I cannot wait. Anyway, on to the next big thing here, the last thing I'm going to talk about today. This is something that we do have official information on now Hershey Park in Candemonium 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 it's easier to say Candemonium so I'm just gonna roll with that for this video the Chocolate Town 2020 expansion for Hershey Park the B&M Hyper we finally have official information on it now we have the name and the stats and a more official layout as well first things first the name yeah it's a name all right Candemonium. Yeah, it's a name. I mean, I don't think it's the worst name out there. It's grown on me a little bit since we've heard the rumors that they were going to use this name. I was hoping they wouldn't actually use it, but of course they did. 
I think for a flat ride or a smaller family-oriented coaster, this would have been a great name. I believe CoasterNet said in their video that this would have been a great name for Laugh Track, actually, Candemonium. Anyway, it is what it is. For a B&M Hyper, I just think Candemonium is not the best suited name. It just doesn't seem right exactly, but I will say I do really love the logo. I think the logo looks really great. Fairly simple, but I, I think it's really cool looking. And there is going to be a bit of a theme to it with the cars. The trains are going to be themed to Twizzlers, Reese's, and Hershey's Kisses. So that's pretty cool. So the stats for this ride are... 210 feet tall, 76 miles per hour, and a length of 4,636 feet. So, not one of the tallest typers, but it is the tallest and fastest coaster in the park. The fastest by one mile per hour. Sky Rush is 75. This is 76 miles per hour. A ride duration of 2 minutes 26 seconds. And as we know, that is always with the lift toll included and the brakes as well. It looks like the ride time from drop to break is going to be roughly 50 seconds or so. We have not seen an official animated POV from the park yet, but people have recreated the layout and it appears it'll be about a 50 second ride from drop to break. So a lot of people are comparing the layout of this to Mako, which is really interesting and this really excites me because Mako looks like an amazing ride. I've heard so many great things about it. Many consider it to be the best B&M Hyper and this does definitely bear some similarities to Mako and it throws in some more fresh ideas into the mix of the traditional B&M hyper layout because the old mentality of the hyper coaster you know just being a simple out and back design with camelback hills bunny hops maybe a helix it's just kind of tired and it's nice to see some things thrown in there every now and then it's not anything too drastic but there is this really cool looking like outer banked airtime hill moment which will be really interesting to feel on a b&m coaster as well as this cool turnaround that goes around the kisses fountain it's just a really good looking layout. It has the classic out and back style hyper layout focused on airtime. Another great thing about this ride, no mid-course brakes. That makes me really excited for this ride. It is a bit shorter as far as track length in terms of hyper coasters, but it's still a good length at over 4,600 feet and there is no mid-course brake run and that is amazing this thing should just haul through that layout and provide some awesome airtime possibly even some ejector moments which will be great something like fury 325 with you know those three good ejector hills the camelback and then the two bunny hops that'll be awesome i'm really looking forward to riding candymonium i wasn't as excited for it before but now that we have all the information and i've taken a couple days to sort of let it all sink in i'm just amazed i think it looks fantastic i am planning on getting out to hershey park next year i considered going this year possibly but since i knew about the chocolate town expansion i decided that i would wait till next year so i'm hoping to get out there next year Ride Candemonium, experience Sky Rush, and all of Hershey Park's greatness. All in all, Chocolate Town looks like a great expansion. Candemonium looks amazing. I cannot wait to experience it. And I would like to know what you guys think about Candemonium, Hershey Park's Chocolate Town. Do you have any ideas on those Kings Island teaser posters, what they could mean? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, so be sure to let me know. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook, and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching again. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.